Hello everybody, welcome back to On the Bright Side. My name is Daniel and I'm watching Has Been Hotel. Last time on Has Been Hotel, we met Lucifer, Charlie's dad. And uh, he was a great character, uh, ha had lots of fun with that episode. Great music, a, a, a really big range of genres too, going from like a, a jazzy fun song to like a very like serious emotional song and they were both top tier i mean <laughs> but we invited him to the hotel so that we could try and convince him to get us a meeting with heaven and we ended up succeeding starting to repair a relationship and now we're gonna go to heaven which is something that i have been highly anticipating <laughs> I feel like in, in neither this show or Hell of Boss we've really seen anything anything at all from heaven. We just, like, know some of the people there. But this episode is called Welcome to Heaven. So <laughs> I am excited to see what we get up to. If you guys are excited for more Has Been Hotel, you should do yourself a favor by subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single Has Been Hotel reaction going forward. We're over the halfway mark, so you don't want to miss the second half, do you? <laughs> Let's begin in three, two, one, go. Is it rain in heaven? Charlie, you're only going to heaven for a few it's hours. It's heaven. Maggie, we are only going to heaven for a day, and I just want to be prepared. <laughs> it's I wish I could come, sweetie, but I have that thing. What thing? Yeah, what the that thing with the uh -huh. thing? Uh huh. Um, fuck. God. Such a bad liar. Vaggy, you're It's true. <laughs> I need you there with me. She really does not want to go. <laughs> Fuck. What? <laughs> you look messy. What yeah. happened to you? What happened? Who happened to me? And the answer Who happened? is everyone. That Twice. makes sense. Okay. Now I have me working 16 hours straight on a fucking whim. <laughs> Sounds rough. What the fuck is with that wall? What? Who? Cherry bomb? Long time no Oh, wait. Today. Is she in the is she in the pilot or am I crazy? I love seeing you, Jerry. But I'm too tired. I need to pass out. What you really need is a recharge, a reinvigoration, a re responsible night on the town. Hi. You just blew up. It's so You have to pay for that. Angels friends. Oh, I think they deserve to have a little fun. Wait, wait, they? Yeah, hi everyone. Angel you all a night of fun. Oh man. <laughs> Nifty vibrates. Ooh, never mind. Let's go. Make sure they have the <laughs> Let's <best> go. <laughs> <laughs> I think Maggie's being abducted. Well, if it isn't my arch nemesis. Yeah. You and me are going out like for fun. What do I wear? Don't fucking touch me, I'm onto dickhead. <laughs> Okay. Hand is destroyed. Isn't that amazing? Hiya! Welcome to heaven. Hi. Your name, please. No. Uh, 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 Charlie Morningstar. Charlie. Right, Morningstar. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm confrontational, hmm. but yeah. Kind is chai. I'm not seeing you on my. Okay. I feel like there are some jokes in there. That's so odd. Uh, uh, my dad got I'm gonna go back. <laughs> okay. The only real joke that I saw yeah. was so Charlie odd. Morning uh, Breakfast. <laughs> so maybe try okay. Lucifer. Morning, Star. Oh, fuck! Yeah. Wow. We're we got a meeting. For a meeting. Saint Peter. We can take it from here. Ooh. Greetings, daughter of the Morning Star. Hello. I am Sarah, the High Sarah from of Heaven. Cool. I'm gifted to be here. Hi. Squeal. Emily, the other Seraphim. Though you can call me M. Emmy. E. Whatever you want. I go by whatever. <laughs> Welcome uh -huh. to Heaven. Okay. Very excited. Oh boy. People are happy that they died because we are happy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> relax. We we have happy days in hell. <laughs> Holy fucking shit balls. Am I yeah. seeing who I think I'm seeing? What? Maybe? Is you want to start a fight on the promenade in front of everyone? Better than waiting for the fucking extermination. 
Sir, what was the Seraphim's one rule? Don't fucking shush me, bitch. You should listen <laughs> to your lieutenant, Adam. Fuck, Sari! I never would have agreed to your yearly activities if I thought it would bring trouble to our doorstep. Keeping heaven safe mm. was my only reason for allowing it. What do you want from me? Interesting. I'm just one guy. I want you to do whatever you need to do to keep this problem from getting any worse. Are we clear? <sighs> yeah. Got it. Okay, I love Okay. Evan. Baggy, <laughs> I love Evan. OMG, can you imagine an actual koala? Ah, see you later. <sighs> an actual hey koala. <laughs> <Dinosaurus>? <laughs> Sorry, I just I'm looking for you. Why? Oh, why? Maybe because you left the band. You tried for a solo career. Oh, huh? I, guess it... I don't know what you're talking about. Do you really huh? think you were on the front lines? I wouldn't forget a bad bitch like you. It's okay. why I named you after the best thing ever. Vaggie. Actually, it's pronounced <laughs> Vaggie. Mm, no. Okay. You sure okay. Fuck Hold on here. <laughs> we're, we're dropping a lot of information. There's maybe one theory that I had. <laughs> Out the window. Of Vaggy being related to Carmilla, but it would explain. I was I was kind of using that as a way to explain why she's so good at fighting, but this also explains things. I also didn't even piece together the X over the eye. That, huh? You know? Okay, I, I'm I'm excited now. <laughs> Run now! Yeah, that also explains the X. Jeez. I, I, you're acting like she chose to be down here then. To when think someone as worthless as you landed Lilith's little hottie. Grats on that, I guess. There <laughs> I wonder what your bitch would think if she Great. found out you are actually one of us. Hmm. I don't. What do you want? I don't so, think Charlie would care. Again? I guess I'll just tell little Miss Butterflies and Rainbows that she's been fucking someone who's killed thousands of her people. I'm sure your relationship will be fine. See you in court. Oh, Isn't Charlie's entire thing about <laughs> forgiveness? To determine whether or not a soul in hell can be redeemed into the heavenly realm by means of this has been hotel. Okay. Intense counsel here. Dictionary <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Objection. Stop. Immediately. No further dictionary references, please. Thank you. Okay. I agree, actually. Uh, Shit. Fuck. If you have well, if you know so much, what do you think it takes to get into heaven? Um. <laughs> uh, well, me a fucking minute, okay? Uh, <laughs> Act selfless, don't steal. Stick it to the man. Are you fucking serious? Uh, yeah, Stick it to sure the man. He was the first human soul in heaven. Well, I bet angels. Yeah, well. <laughs> there wasn't much standards back then, I guess. Why? Didn't you say we're arch rivals? Uh, um, uh, but I'm buying it. enemies oh, to lovers. <laughs> well, I, do, do, I hope you have enough money, Sir Here, take one of these, and you won't be worrying about nothing. Here we go. Say oh, no oh, to I drugs, and then we prove our point. Long. You want to fuck up all your progress? Be my guest. I just, I just thought you were better than that. Aw, oh, damn. Damn. I, I don't know. It's been a long night, and I don't need to go too wild. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Chetty, I bought you a shot. Because I bought everyone another shot. <laughs> He's trying so hard. I love alcohol! I love this guy. I love alcohol. Fuck it. Let's do it. What more well. do you need to see? The porn star chose a night of debauchery. It was close, though. Are you really telling me you've never had a drink with friends at the end of a hard day? That's uh, true. We don't have hard days. It's fucking heaven, bitch. You seriously? At the end of a not hard day, like then. Is okay? Soft day. Woody. Angel will make good decisions. Come on, we have to keep watching. Yeah, let's give him a chance. The court will allow it. Fuck yes! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Wait, Adam's here over swearing like a sailor, but. I think you're done, Tony. Oh, come on, on me. She can handle a little more. She's like mm. 10 pounds. So yeah, she's. Oh, shit. She's. she's... Oh, oh, God. <laughs> what are we doing, Nifty? What are you doing? You're supposed to be 
relaxing, not playing nanny. Look, she ain't used to this. Yeah, stage. but I'm afraid that Nifty is gonna make mustard uh, gas, okay? <laughs> God, Nip, why are you being such a mess? <laughs> Oh man, that's the one thing that. You wanna play with the kitty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck is this? She's wasting. Oh. <laughs> hey, I just. I just <laughs> hey, These interactions are fun. <laughs> I see the club has a sex room. So I was thinking. <laughs> He's trying so hard. I'm sorry. Why would we have sex? Ah, ah, um, because. Okay. I was. I was waiting for something like that. Oh boy. Poor Sir Betches. It's Valentino. Exactly. So why don't you know Valentino? Oh God. Here. Where's Nifty? Oh. Uh, uh oh, bad boy. What are you doing here, baby? You didn't get enough dick today. Funny. Who's this? She bites back. Don't fuck off, Val. Excuse me. I said fuck off. Oh boy. I may have to put up with your bullshit, but you ain't fucking with any of my friends. You I own you, bitch. Out here, I get to do what I want. So once again, fuck. Oh. Enjoy the rest of your night, bitch. Fuck it. It was worth it. Yeah. Stand up to him. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's part of you? <laughs> Fuzz from the from the butterfly. You could come crash with us too. I am doing just fine. In fact, I'm gonna fuck the next guy I see. Okay? Is Cherry still here? Damn. Damn it! So close! <laughs> Poor, poor Benches. He stopped Nifty from stealing, and he stuck it to that Mothman. Why isn't he here? Oh. None of you know what gets someone into heaven? This questioning stops now. Mm? We know when a soul arrives. Huh? But she was right, Sarah. She did all the things. She showed us the soul can improve. He saw the light, Sarah. Ooh. Checked up not everything. It's not fair, Sarah. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't you care, Sarah? That just because someone is dead, it doesn't mean they can't resolve to change their ways. But there's a lot that you don't know. Like what? There's no question to be posed. He's unholy case closed. Did you forget that hell is forever? A man only lives once. We'll see you in one month. Mm -hmm. Come down. You, you don't say that one. You go down there and kill those poor souls. No one knows, apparently. tell me that you didn't know. I thought and I wanted to save you. The anguish it takes to do what was required. Oh, what a shot. I also, I love her voice, by the way. <laughs> Dang. The daughters <laughs> rising up. <laughs> I love the reprise too. By her, did you ever think your little girlfriend might be a liar? Don't, I don't please. What's the fuss? Why hide the fact that you're an angel just like us? I mean, it definitely doesn't feel good to be lied to, so I can. Understand her being upset. This court finds we'll see what no evidence what, souls in hell what happens with redeemed. that, though. Because we're coming to your hotel first. What? No, no, you can't! No! Charlie, don't give up on this! I'll figure something out, I promise! That wasn't called for, Adam. Yeah, but did you see the looks on their fucking faces? Adam's gonna get thrown out of heaven at this rate. Demon or not, there is no reason to be doing this. They were uprising, Emily. It All is the eyes. position as the head <laughs> seraphim to protect our people at all costs. Can when I were they uprising? Are they doing it now? I mean, they're thinking about it because they hate Heaven you guys. <laughs> you could end up like Lucifer. 
fallen. I couldn't bear to see you suffer that fate. So please, let me worry about this. Okay? Well, she's gonna... She's gonna worry about it. <laughs> you can try your best, but... I, sorry, I gotta pause because I gotta get this out. It is not a parent's goal to shield their child from every single bit of pain and suffering that could possibly befall them. It is a parent's goal to help their child learn to deal with it, Re like resolve it. It's anyway, I'll, I'll get into it. Oh, 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 let's just let's just get right into the discussion, shall we? I wanted to say right off the bat that throughout this, I refer to Emily as Sarah's daughter and rewatching the episode. I don't know if that's actually explicitly said anywhere. I might just assume that, based on the way that they interact with each other, it seems very mother-daughter, but... In any case, their relationship isn't friendship. It's familial... feeling. Hi there. <laughs> uh, that was an episode. We got to see heaven. And it, it, it's, it's... Yeah, it's... It's heaven, I guess. <laughs> Here's what I'm getting the sense of. Is that, like, while the average citizen is probably having a good time, the higher-ups there, obviously we see they don't really... It's all a big mystery. I, I just really liked the revelation that no one in heaven knows why they're in heaven. They they just show up there and then think that they're the righteous ones. You know, that's that's an interesting spin. Uh, just the uh, just the idea that like, oh, <laughs> we just got put here. You know, as someone who got like thrown out, Lucifer probably has a better idea of like what <laughs> what's going on. But we. Met a couple of characters, learned a fair amount of stuff, so let's talk about it. This was a plot-heavy episode. First things first, we met, uh, in heaven, we met, uh, we met St. Peter, who is, he's like the most normal-looking character in this entire show. <laughs> I don't know, it was off-putting to see, like, a man just look like a man, you know? It, that led us to also meeting Emily and Sarah. Sarah's... That's an interesting name because it's spelled like Seraphim, but Sarah spelled S-A-R-A-H, it's, that's also a biblical name. So, we've now seen the leaders of the Seraphim who are all, b besides like Sarah and Emily, they're all freaky looking. Um, and I guess Lucifer was, was a Seraphim, but yeah, she is intense, uh, but also... Yeah, I think she's just like really I mean, here's what I'll, here's what I'll say. I understand. It's interesting that she's basically having the same exact dilemma as Carmilla is down in hell, just like I'll do anything to protect my my family. Like think about this chain of events. Sarah was all like, "Okay, hell is rising up. I'll allow you guys to go down and and exterminate them." And down in hell, this has led to Carmilla fighting back <laughs> and killing one of the exorcists. So, I mean, like, it's a it's a cycle of events that's like, y you know. I, I talk a lot in, in a lot of other shows about the cycle of hatred and about how, you know, one person wrongs someone else and then they wrong them back and then it just, it just... It just goes back and forth, and we can see so much, so much of this throughout history, where it just like doesn't stop, and it just causes more pain and suffering, and like on people who don't deserve it. I will say in this show, it's more like a cycle of fear, like driving these decisions rather than hatred, which is an interesting spin. And it's like, I I, I think it's cor correct. The more they keep pushing, they already have a way to fight back against. The exorcists. The more they keep pushing this, the more resistance that they're going to get. And someday they might actually have an uprising worth worth worrying about. You know, it would be better to, I guess, let them be. There is still the issue I that Charlie is talking about with overpopulation. But is that just a pretense for why why they come down and and exterminate? Like, is there any real? Like thing about the population, I wonder. But yeah, Emily! Let's talk about Emily. Oh my god, okay. 
she seems like she's going to be a very interesting character. I'm already all about her. Interestingly, I I was looking at the voice actors. Uh, Emily does not have a picture on on Amazon. Usually they have pictures. I talked a, a bit about how I don't know most of the cast. I want to add. I do. I do know Vaggie's actress, uh, because I have seen at least a couple episodes of Brooklyn Nine Nine. So I'm aware of her role in that show. I, really, aside from her, I I you know. Husk, uh, Keith David sounds familiar. That that name and the voice, I'm both like, God, I've heard this somewhere, but I can't pinpoint it. I should, I, I mean, I could just look it up, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> Emily's the first one I've noticed that has not like just had like a actual picture on on, because usually it gets pictures from IMDb or something, uh, because Amazon own time to be she's a very interesting character she's doubting heaven she's you know she she was so sheltered that she's not even aware of any 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 of the stuff that's happening and most people in heaven are probably so sheltered that they're not aware of like the injustices that are being committed but i really loved the part of the song where she sang with charlie i'm like damn this is a this is a team up i i want those two to interact and i want them to to be the ones who, I mean, everything that I see in this show points to that, like, a war is brewing. If I'm being optimistic, I, I want to see Emily and Charlie both work from either sides to, to stop that before it happens. But there's a lot of people meddling. Still don't know what Alistair's doing. <laughs> is he trying to get this war to happen? Uh... Emily very much reminded me of Charlie, so I'm like, I'm kind of thinking that they're supposed to be paralleled to each other, and I'm really excited to see where that's going. It's also interesting that I both of her parents were were name dropped this episode by, but Lilith was name dropped by Adam. I know that they were around at the same time, like alive. It's interesting. I I keep waiting for. Lilith to make an appearance of some sort um and I might have to wait a while but I just hope that Emily can convince her mother somehow to stop the extermination uh, especially the ones that have that's happening in one month especially if Adam is going to go straight for the the hotel can't have that maybe maybe that's what Alistair's preparing for a face-off against angels one where he can win hmm speaking of angels Faggy ho huh! He, oh, <laughs> that was a big, that was a big reveal. But yeah, no, that checks out. Yeah, one, one of my older theories was that I was all like, is Faggy a daughter of Carmilla? I kind of used like, oh, they speak Spanish as one of the things and like have a song together. You don't just put two people in a song together if they're not like related somehow. But I guess they're just, we're thematically related at that time. Fine. <laughs> this is better. This is better. This is a more interesting twist, for sure. I also wanted to say the reason why I brought up speaking Spanish as a thing was because I wanted to say that that theory has kind of been disproven because a bunch of characters speak Spanish in this show. I want to see how uh, Charlie and Vaggie work through this, you know? I am optimistic here because I feel like Charlie one of her one of her tenets is that she doesn't judge people and she gives people second chances she may not have been knowing knowing it that she has been giving vaggy a second chance this entire time but she has been lied to i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's like vaggy's fault i mean okay first off she got her wings removed nothing she can do about that like that's not her fault is she even technically really an angel? Like, she's like a fallen angel. I don't know how much it is, like, it's, it, obviously it's lying in the ter in the sense that she didn't tell Charlie about her past. She, it, it, it is lying, and that is hurtful. Hi, I'm, I'm jumping in a lot here. But, I will say, like, you don't have to tell your partner absolutely everything from your past, but the fact that she was an exorcist is 
kind of a big deal, something that you should tell. It is technically her right to withhold that information. It's complicated there. And it is true that she killed a lot of Charlie's kind. So it's probably going to be difficult for Charlie to work through, but let's also be real here. Vaggie has to put in work. It's not just a thing that Charlie has to work through. It's something that Vaggie has to step up. She's got to make it up to her. I mean, they're just so important in each other's lives. I can't see their relationship like being destroyed by this, but uh, it's going to it's gonna shake things up a bit. Oh, ho, ho, I didn't even get to talk about Angel Dust. I am talking for a long time, but again, plot-heavy episode. So Angel Dust, he did a really, really great job this episode. He showed why he's, how he's improving. Enough to convince Emily, you know, like, oh, well, that looked, that looked like he was different than before to me. It, it's a long process, right? It is interesting that they picked Angel Dust because I was all like going to be one of the hardest cases, but already changing. He did stick it to the man. Yeah. I mean, fuck Valentino for like slapping him, but morally we win. I, am I wrong though? Like, I, I think I talked about this in, in in the first episode, but like, it it's just like such a pathetic attempt, like getting violent. The physical violence is such a pathetic attempt of like obtain uh, having control or expressing emotions that I'm all like, the fact that Angel Dust just walked away, just like s said what he wanted to say and then walked away is absolutely a, a, a victory to me that was nice to see also we had the side the subplot of serpentius being interested in cherry bomb which is just, just very cute the entire episode um serpentius tried really hard i i feel bad for his wallet and his holes Something that I didn't want to think about. Cherry Bomb said she's a character. She's not like... I kind of have the same feelings that I do about Mimsy, where it's just like, oh, another one of, like, the meddlers, you know? <laughs> like, just someone who's around. Her design is cool, but so is everyone's. Yeah, I do, I do like... I didn't talk about that. I do like the design of the uh, angels. Um, I like the characters with their, like... So many of the characters have, like hidden like second like you know what i mean so many of the characters hide like their true forms we've seen this with with so so many of them like but sarah has like the eyes in her wings angel dust has the eyes under his eyes uh alistair's obviously the the most clear example of this with the antlers and just the everything <laughs> the glitching Valentino has the wings, Vox also has the glitching, and Charlie has had, had a couple times had her hair flare up, and you can see her horns. Really solid episode. I had a lot to talk about. Uh, this video's gonna get out late. Uh-oh. But I'm proud of Angel Dust. Uh, Emily's super interesting character. All right, everyone, if you like my reaction to that episode, you can let me know by leaving a like and you can comment. Tell me what you thought about this episode or my reaction to it. And you can subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next episode of Has Been Hotel. Anyway, I hope that I can make your day better and I hope that you continue to have good days. Until next time. Uh, uh, take it easy, everyone. <laughs>